Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In celebration of National Embroidery Month, and since Valentine's Day is approaching, I have collaborated with Brother Middle East and Africa to come up with a very special project for you today. So before we get started, if you want to see more tutorial videos in the future, or any unboxing videos, or pretty much anything related to sewing, please go to the YouTube channel of Brother, it's Brother Middle East and Africa, and you can hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you get notified when a new video is released. Also, you can actually follow me on Instagram at So It's Your Style if you want to see more tutorial videos or pretty much any of my projects. So our amazing project for today is going to be this amazing cute little pillow. This pillow has been embroidered in the center. It has been embellished with trim and ribbons and it's actually zippered at the back. Alright, so what are we waiting for? Let's get started! For this project, you're going to need some fabric, one dark and one light for embroidery. And you're also going to need some zippers. The zipper that I have is matched with the main fabric. You're also going to need some trim for embellishment. And you can also have an optional ribbon for embellishment too. You're also going to need some thread, some polyester and embroidery for embroidering and a very good stabilizer for your project. Now, in addition, you're also going to need a few more items. You're going to need some rulers. You're going to need a rotary cutter. A scissor. Some pins. A marking pen. And a clipper. Since this pillow is finished at 15 by 15 square, you're going to need a pillow form, which is 15 by 15. And lastly, you're going to need a pressing mat and an iron to press your project. Now, to get started, I would recommend that you press the fabric that's going to be embroidered. This is to avoid wrinkles and it will fit very nicely on your embroidery hoop. Using a stabilizer that is cut out larger than the embroidery frame, I'm going to place the stabilizer on top of the outer frame and I'm going to layer the main fabric on top of the stabilizer. I will then press the inner frame from the top of the fabric to secure it in place. I'm going to gently tug the fabric from all sides just to make sure I don't have some crease or puckering or anything unnecessary. I will then place the guide or the grid lines and mark the center, the top, left, right, and bottom of my piece. I will then start embroidering. So I am using a design that I have downloaded online, it's called Be Mine. It's a free pattern that you can actually use for any of your projects. So once the embroidering process is done, you're going to cut the loose threads or the threads connected to each of the embroidery patterns. This is to make sure that you have a very smooth and nice finish. And I'm going to remove the excess stabilizer piece at the back of my main fabric. So the next step is to cut down or trim down my embroidery piece into a 5.5 or 5.5 inch square. My main fabric is going to be cut into 8 5.5 or 5.5 inch squares. 
So once I cut out all my pieces, I'm going to lay them out with the embroidered piece in the center. I'm going to sew them all together into one big square and give it a nice press. Now, to add a little fun in my project, I'm going to add a trim that goes diagonal from top to left, top to right, bottom to left, and bottom to right. Now, to create the back of the pillow for our closure with a zipper, you're going to cut two 15 and a half inch squares from your main fabric. You're going to fold the back pieces of your fabric Fold them in half and give it a nice press. Now to sew the zipper, you're going to position the zipper right onto the folded edge of your fabric and you're going to sew it using a zipper fit. Once it's done, you're going to do the same thing to the other side of the zipper, but this time you're going to layer or position the other fabric piece just overlapping the zipper thief. For additional embellishment, I have sewn a ribbon right on top of my embroidered piece. Once everything is sewn together, you're going to open up the zipper just halfway through. You're going to place both pieces right side to right side and you're going to sew all four sides. Once it's done, you're ready to turn your pillow right side out. So there you have it, your very own embroidered valentine pillow, just in time for Valentine's Day. And remember, this pillow has been embroidered and sewn on a Brother NB180 machine. And we hope that you enjoy the process as much as we do. And we will see you again for future projects. Thank you very much and bye.